Los Alamos. Okay. Ah, beautiful. And I've lived in New Mexico since 2001. Wow. Okay. Good morning. Okay. Good morning. Let's be here. Erin McKenna with the Los Alamos Monitor. So um, my first question is, are your characters based at all on historical people who were up there at the Manhattan Project? Uh, they're not based specifically on people. I think the more scientists you know about in their individual work, you can see parallels between mm -hmm. certain individuals or at least groups of individuals. Mm -hmm. But it's, no, there are fictional characters within a factual setting. I mean, Oppenheimer is obviously real and people like Enrico Fermi are referenced in Niels Bohr. But the people that we follow and the relationships we follow, because actually we don't know exactly the relationships and the emotional matter of what's happened, it's still a huge secret what happened on the hill. We're following characters where you have the freedom to explore and see how they interact. There was an implosion team, there was people working on the Thin Man team. People who we know worked on that team actually aren't on this team and we've heightened it a little bit, the drama, to make it even much more of a, an underdog team. There's only five or six of us working on this model, mm -hmm. which, um, but it's a really, but that's a really, but again, the emotional experience of it and the, uh, and the setting, at least the world, is very highly researched and as you can kind of see, pretty much as it was. Well, uh, aside from the physical setting, <laughs> that's definitely not. Um, so, so what type of research did you do into your characters? Because I know there are books out that do talk yeah. about these tensions and the problems with living we both read a whole bunch of books, we watched documentaries, um, and I listened to some, there's this beautiful site of the uh, Los Alamos where you can the listen to interviews yeah. of uh, oh, yes. also of women that scientists was, yeah, or of women really living awesome. here. It is. I, I kind of studied the women's side of it okay. all, although she's so much like a man because yeah. she's part of this man's world. Yes. Um, yes. But there's some female scientists that you can listen to, yeah. Yeah, hear their yeah. stories. And what's it like being able to play that woman kind of out of I place love it. in her time? Yeah, I, I love it and I feel like she really fights for her place and, and, and takes and, and is very straight about it. Like she's not, she doesn't, she, she doesn't look at herself as an underdog, which I like. Like she doesn't come from, from here and just tries, but she's, she's just there and she thinks that's just. And it is just, because she's uh -huh. very smart. So, right. and anyone who, who has a different opinion just, you know, she doesn't. Right. She doesn't mind. Right. What What about your character? Um, really stands out for you. Um, well, thankfully, he's British, which is, was a bonus for me. Just to, so suddenly, straight away, there's something that I know more about mm -hmm. than the people around me, because a lot of the other aspects of it, mm -hmm. I didn't know anything about. So I, the main research to begin with, was actually I was interested in the science, just about atoms and just how this works from the ground up mm -hmm. to be able to where we got to the point where we could actually build a bomb. Uh, and actually, and only really more after we started filming did I get hold, since I got here, of books and, like you say, these podcasts of testimonies of people during their life. And visiting Los Alamos uh, was very helpful. But that, in a way, is something that we explore ourselves. You know that in this setting, surrounded by barbed wire, but cut off from your friends and family, you do have these kind of, yeah, intense relationships. And that's something that you can explore yourself. You don't need someone to tell you that's no. what it was like. Right. And also the show isn't only about physics, which is great. It's, it's right. just about people and what's, right. what's going on between people and the secrets. And I guess in that way, it's like any other great written acting job yes. where the stakes are high. And right, right. And, and the setting, at least on the interiors and uh, the close-up shots of the exteriors, they've done a, a great job. Does Beautiful, that help right? Oh, it helps so much, yeah. Because you, you you don't have to play that. It's real. It'd be yeah, green screen would be harder. <laughs> yeah. And then when we were first shown around the set, first of all, the scale and the detail of it was wonderful yeah. to have all the interiors and exteriors on this kind of lot. But also just, uh, I I pictured it differently. I didn't realize quite how much of a kind of wooden pathways and dusty sand everywhere and looked like really temporary, like a frontier town. It's a yeah. I didn't picture it like this. It's fascinating. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank you. much. Cheers. <laughs>